Hi, Sophie. Hi, Kevin. How are you doing today? Uh, we don't, I thought we agreed we don't right. ask, we don't that, ask question that question right. anymore. Right. On a scale, on a scale. Bad. Mm. <laughs> on a scale. Bad. Um, <laughs> uh, we have a little announcement to give before this. Some bad news. <laughs> oh my God. It's fine. It's fine. It's- <laughs> Basically, we're just here to tell you that the next episode is going to be delayed, which is probably not a surprise. Yeah. And unfortunately, we don't yet know exactly when it's going to be out. Not quite. There are unfortunately a few factors that are totally out of our control. Um, All that I can tell you about the next episode is it's going to be a really good one. Uh, Yeah, and we are actively working on it. We are. And it's, it's shaped up enough that I can tell you that i'm really excited about it so it's really it's production and things yeah. that are getting in the way here yeah and some of them are sort of pandemic adjacent obviously and some of them are just personal uh but it is gonna happen mm-hmm. and we're really excited about it and we will update you on when it's coming out as soon as we can the best way to stay abreast of that is to follow us on twitter or on facebook or on tumblr mm-hmm. twitter at the penumbra pod Tumblr at the Penumbra Podcast and Facebook at the Penumbra Podcast. Those are all good ways to stay up to date uh, with our scheduling. Mm-hmm. And we hope you like this episode. Uh, you, you should. <laughs> Sorry, that was aggressive. You can, yeah, you can make your own decision about how you feel about it. You're I, free to not like it. I like this episode and like not even 50% because of the stuff I contributed to it. <laughs> Uh, But enjoy, and we will see you as soon as we possibly can. See you soon. Bye. Ah, good evening, traveler, and welcome to the Penumbra. Tonight's tale is... The Strong Arm of Justice. It's true love. I'm certain of it. True love. The greatest and most magical magic in all the world. I never thought I would see it. And I suppose I still have not, but I have seen a man who has seen it, and that is certainly something. Sir Angelo, is that something? It most assuredly is, young Olala. Why, the knighting tales all predict a day like this one, when the brave warrior finds in the line of duty a soul that intermingles with his own. Of course, in most of those tales, the soul in question is a dainty thing. One does not exactly do hard labor when one's hair is as long as a tower, or when one is, well, asleep. But it only makes sense that a knight as mighty as Sir Angelo the Strong should take a mighty bride as well. (laughs) Ha ha! Um, what, Sir Angelo? A mighty bride as well. (laughs) Ha ha! But, Sir Angelo, didn't all I tell you he was a man? Hmm. Yes, I hadn't thought of that. Ah, why it is simplicity itself. My eyes and heart have found themselves drawn to women since I was a boy, and so Ale must be a woman. And from there, I suppose you could ask if my heart does not also beat for men, to which I would respond, you are thinking of Sir Damien, and so our mystery is solved. Oh, now, okay, sir. I know what you are thinking, young Olala. Is it not possible that both Damien and I should be twin-hearted in this way? And to that I say, well, that would be rather redundant, wouldn't it? Redundant? Or perhaps you think that Ale could not possibly be a woman because she can handle her own with a sword. I do not think so, Sir Angelo. I was brought here by Sir Caroline's sword, and all of the sisters could use swords, except for the abbess, who had honed her hand until it could cut far more easily than any blade. Yes, yes. Interesting arguments all. But have you forgotten the very woman who brought you here? Sir Caroline is a master of the blade. Why, I suspect some of your sisters at Corpse Garden might have been handy with a sword as well. Um... But more than proving that Ale's womanhood is possible, I will prove to you that it is so. Take this! Ha! Um, may I ask what this book is, Sir Angelo? A book of knightly tales, of course. Go ahead, look inside. It's the fourth talion. Yes. Hmm. Yes, of course. Most fascinating. Well, have you found it? 
Uh, I am not certain, Sir Angelo. I cannot read. Well, then allow me to summarize. It is an old folk tale dating back to the earliest days of our second citadel, when one man from every family was required to don armor and serve as military protection for the brave souls building the citadel itself. The heroine comes from a family with no men, and so is not expected to contribute. But her sister works in the construction of our central spire, the most dangerous region by far. And so she pretends to be a man so that she may act as personal guard to her sister. Oh. Is the proof you spoke of in another tale, perhaps? That is my proof, Olala. Ale is most assuredly a woman in disguise. Um... My, look at the sky outside. So very dark. If I do not ride for Milltown now, I will never stop the kite's execution in time. You're going to Milltown again, Sir Angelo? Didn't Ollie tell you not to go? Perhaps. But justice listens only to its own beating heart, and not to the whims of any man. Woman! Woman, I mean. Because Ale is clearly a... Well, I think I shall away now. Bring me with you, Sir Angelo. Please. I practiced the art of sidekicking all night last night. Surely I am worthy to adventure with you now. Hmm. I would rather you stay hidden in the Queen's secret chambers. But I suppose a lesson won't hurt. Now, show me your greatest kick on the dummy I made you. But I must warn you, Olala, that my standards will be exacting, and you should not expect me. Saints above! That is the mightiest kick I have ever seen! Ha! See, Sir Angelo, I am more than ready to be your sidekicker. Just give me a moment to make a mask of my own, the and I The mightiest kick ready. I have seen. After one night of training, that is. Ha ha ha! But you've still a long way to go if you wish to kick like a true warrior. Why, I could kick like that in my sleep! When I was a baby! A sleeping, kicking baby! Oh. Well... Could you show me how, then? Just one kick, Sir Angelo, so that I may practice? Absolutely not! Oh, Sir Angelo, please. I'm certain that if I saw your kick, I would be able to do it just right. After all, I can change my feet into your feet, can't I? Yes, well, there is a very good reason why I cannot show you. Oh. What, what, what is the reason? Well, of course, it's, it's just that... You only have one pillow left. If I were to kick your pillow, it would most assuredly obliterate it. And then where would your head rest, hmm? Sir Angelo. Hmm? I'm sorry I ever doubted you. I see now the strategic mind that years of training have given you. Please forgive me? Young Olala, the first step in me forgiving you is you forgiving yourself. You must always remember that. But what does that mean? I do not know. Now sleep well, young citizen, for the vigilant he must return to his duties. Is this the place? Tonight's execution lives here? She does, sir. Good. What do you say we avoid any embarrassment this time, huh? Check around a little. I'll go poke into some houses around here. And if you see anybody, kill them. Yes, sir. Good boy. <laughs> Aha! And so the treacherous fools walk away from their victim and leave the vigilant he perched upon the rooftops to enact swift justice. Ha 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 ha! It is just as the old adage says, a hero always returns to the scene of the crime. If only Ale could see me now, that would grab her attention for certain. You want attention, schoolboy? Keep shouting and you'll get the attention of everybody in Milltown. Gasp! Of all the roofs in Milltown, what are the odds? What the hell are you doing? I told you not to come back here. And I took that under advisement, Fair Ale. Of that I assure you. But how could I possibly rest when such terrible deeds were about to occur on Citadel soil? Shh! What's wrong with you? You came from the rooftop last time. And it worked! And now it's the first place they're going to check. Well, let them. I shall strike each one of them down. You haven't seen what the kite can do. Then I shall see it, and then we shall face in single combat, and initially he will appear to be the winner, but then I will use his own abilities against him in a manner both cunning and ironic, and with a finishing blow I will use my trademark strength to vanquish the fiend forever! Ha ha! And what makes you think all that is going to happen? It is always how this happens, Ale. Whenever good and evil clash, good must struggle, then succeed, and perhaps learn a lesson to boot. 
That is how all of my missions have gone thus far. All of them? Every one! It must be written into the universe in some way, I should think. By the saints, perhaps. More Damien's purview than mine. He's my greatest rival, you know. Be gads, he's come up quite a bit these past few nights. I wonder why. What are you doing? I believe that trading short personal tales is typically how these kinds of meetings go. Meetings? Well, when a man's invitation, especially at night, when engaging in a shared hobby or interest, catches the attention of a lovely lady, I believe one calls that I'm stopping a... you right there for two reasons. One, still not a woman. Two, what is your problem? Oh, so you say, Ale, so you say. But if you had a secret, I hope you know that the vigilant he would stand beside you no matter how many women you revealed yourself to be. Zero. Still zero. I hope you know I am an ally to women of all kinds. I've done the research as well. I've read an entire book on the subject and magazines. Shh! Listen. All right, ma'am. I don't want to do this, but... The kite is waiting for you. No, no, please, no! Be gads! Our witty repartee has distracted us from the task at hand. We must fly to her rescue! Wait. Something here isn't right. They didn't even check the roof. Of course not. They didn't yesterday. Why should they today? Because they didn't yesterday and that's how you got them. This should be the first place they looked. Help! Help! And I have never heard anyone scream for help like that outside of a kid's story. And so we shall tell the children this story once we emerge victorious. Another crushing victory of good over the forces of evil. Away! Hup, 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 ah. What are you doing? You need a plan. I have a plan. It is to win. Hup, 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 hup. Hala! Stop, villain! The vigilant he is here to save the day! Oh no! Not the. the. whoever you said you are! Remove your evil hands from that innocent woman fiend, and you shall taste my wrath! And. don't you mean or? Vigilant charge! Oh, don't kill me, please, please! Vigilant my brother's still a ah! <laughs> And so the day is saved by the forces of vigilance! Huzzah and good tidings, citizen! Oh, my hero! A hero indeed! Stay very close to me now, the vigilant he shall protect you. You see, Ale, enacting justice is hardly complicated at all. You arrive, you strike down your foes, and then the day is saved. Ale? I'm so sorry. Please, forgive me. Whatever for? Oh boy, get back. She has a knife. Oh! oh. <clears throat> Let go of the knife. Aaron, Aaron, let go of the knife. It's over. She nearly stabbed me. It was a trap. I warned you. But she... I, I saved her. The, the vigilant he. And she Are nearly... Shut up for a second, schoolboy. You're not helping. Aaron, let go of the knife. Ollie, Ollie, you don't understand. I do. The kite told you to do this or he'd kill your kid instead, right? You can't trust him. He'll just do what he wants. Whatever he's after, we're nothing to him. We're ants. I'll protect Connor, I promise. Just tell me where he is. For how I... long? He's going to track you down eventually. And then every person you've hidden away, every person he's going Aaron, to... Shh. Kite! They're here! They're here! Damn it! Knight. You have to run right now. I... I shall cover the door so the fiend may the not get in. The door isn't going to make a difference. Just... <sighs> well, looks like I'm right on time. Thanks, hon. You... How did you... Where did you come from? <laughs> oh, you aren't the brightest, are you, son? I was worried these yokels' bad acting would tip you off. Yet here you are. <laughs> you... Village girl, get over here. Y yes, sir. We still need to make sure that the queen gets our daily message. Uh, hang on. Make sure you talk right into the soundstone now. But what am I supposed to say? <clears throat> <clears throat> you, uh, you killed her, but she was your ally, was she not? Your comrade in evil. My what? <laughs> oh boy. Your body's here, but your brain's never set foot outside that citadel, has it? Let my comrade go. 
You've been stuffed full of stories, haven't you? Hero stories where the good guys always charge in, wearing spotless Citadel armor. The bad guys take their lumps, and everyone earns a tidy little nugget of wisdom when it's all over. I'll bet Mira's shoved more than a few of those down your throat, hasn't she? <laughs> doing what needs doing doesn't happen so clean, son. The hardest things, the most important things, they take sacrifice. It's not always so pretty to look at. Villain! I command you to let all I go! Villain! Saints, you're just a boy, aren't you? There are no villains. No heroes, either. There are only men who do the right thing, no matter what it costs, and people who get in their way. And you might think you're the former, Knight, but I've got news for you. You're in my way. I... you... that can't be... Let Ale go. Please, just let him go. I beg of you. Maybe I will. You know what? Maybe I just will. It's not too late for you, son. Muscles like that, you could get a lot done. You don't have to be in the way. So here's what I'll offer to help you get useful again. If you bring me the half-monster abomination hidden in that citadel, I'll let one arm go. No, even better, I'll leave, and nobody in the Second Citadel will see the mean old kite ever again. Think about it, Knight. Your duty is supposed to be to the people of the Citadel, isn't it? And even if you think that shape-changing thing is a person, it isn't from here. It's a monster. And what do knights do to monsters? We slay them. Now you're talking sense. <laughs> it's midnight now. You have three hours before I get impatient. Not much time to think, but plenty of time to do the right thing, I'd say. So do it. Now. Go. to protect my people, but... Porthos, come here. That's it, boy, that's it. To the Citadel, Porthos, and quickly. We have a delivery we must make. Saints, forgive me. Yeah. It's a quarter to three, sir. <clears throat> what are you doing, sir? Not too many things a man can do with a sword and hostage. Take a guess. But he still has 15 minutes before... Before I kill one arm, sure. But that doesn't mean we can't sweeten the pot a little. Make sure Sir Knight knows we mean it when he comes back. Take his gag out, now. <laughs> I've got a joke for you, One-Arm. You ever hear the one about the no-armed swordsman? Yeah. I heard he tore that mask off your face and made you eat it. You're not exactly in the best position to press your luck, you know. I could take a leg while I'm at it. You'd live a lot longer than you'd enjoy, bleeding out on the floor like that. Take whatever you want. Before this is done, I'll still send your teeth down your throat. <laughs> Looks like you got me, One-Arm. I'm not the funniest man here, after all. Tell that one again when Sir Knight gets here, won't you? I get the feeling it's just gonna get better with time. There's no need. I am here now, and I brought what you asked me for. Big bag. What's in it? Just because I have done the task does not mean I am proud enough to name it. Pretty still for a bag with a monster in it. You kill it? I did not. One is safer when one's enemy is incapacitated. All right, let's have a look at it. Bring the bag up here. Not until you release your captive. Want me to bag him up for you? I don't know what you have in that thing. And I do not know that you won't kill him the moment you see it. Could kill him right now. I do not believe you would risk it. Huh. Fine. If you're going to take all the fun out of it, then I don't want to kill him anyway. You stay right there, and we'll get one arm all ready for you. 
untie him. Go on. Uh... Then I shall place this sack. No, no. Don't worry about it. We've got this all under control. You just sit tight. Go on. What the hell are you waiting for? Go. Glad to see you, schoolboy. Ale! Cockatrice. <laughs> Touching reunion. Sorry I had to put it on hold. What? Why can't I move? Cockatrice soul. Don't they teach the squires anything anymore? Now let's see this bag. A pillow. And some rocks. <laughs> Cheat me, huh? <laughs> After all this, Mira really thought she could cheat me? The Queen had nothing to do with this. If you've any qualms, sir, it is with me and me alone. You know, I think I might actually believe you. If Mira were going to cheat me, she'd at least put some thought into it. But just punish you? <laughs> I don't think so. Royalty is the head of the kingdom, but the people are its body. And if the fingers steal what isn't theirs, you punish the entire criminal. You, the queen, all of them. I won't give you the chance! Schoolboy, don't. It's magic. You can't just push through it. Shh, shh, shh. Let's watch him try, at least, huh? After the trouble you two put me through, I think I've earned a uh, little show. Uh, I will not strike an unarmed man! Take out your blade, kite! You first. <laughs> Stubborn, aren't you? He's, he's in the years, isn't he? No magic is stronger than I, kite. I will defeat you with this blade. No matter how long it takes. So you're strong. Neat trick. I'll admit I've never seen it before. But strength can't solve every problem. <sighs> At last, you've summoned the courage to fight me. I have. Just not how you think. <sighs> Ale! I don't care how tough you are, son. If I see you move again, one arm here dies. <sighs> That's more like it. You've disappointed me, Knight. When we were talking earlier, I thought you might actually have some sense. That thing is not your responsibility. The people of the Second Citadel are, and you just sold them all out. As long as anyone seeks shelter within the walls of our Citadel, my duty will be to protect them. Those are my people. <laughs> Even a monster? I do not know as yet, but I know that protecting my people comes first. Over all else, I would rather help a creature which desires to kill me than kill any creature which desires my help. Well, I guess that's where we're different, son. Killing monsters comes first, and I'll do whatever it takes to get there. Speaking of which, I think I'm going to let you go. What? Oh. Oh. <sighs> no. Your condescension does not frighten me. Take out your sword and fight me! Uh-uh. I don't think you want that, boy. After all, you're Mira's only chance of knowing what happened here tonight. And what's going to happen next. So why don't you run home and tell her this? At sunset tomorrow, I'll burn Milltown to the ground. And if I don't get my abomination, Mira's life will be the very next... I take. Fool, the Citadel's defenses are impregnable. Our Captain of the Guard is the most skillful knight I have ever met. Even if you could make it to the Spire, you'll never find the Queen. Who? Oh, because only the Knights know where she is. Is that right? Only the Knights of the Crown know about the two hidden passages to the Queen's secret chambers. The one in the Spire's kitchens. And then the one behind St. Aaron's hammer. Well... What? I'll give you a head start. Sixty. 
Fifty-nine. Fifty-eight. Ah! Uh, Ollie! Run, you idiot! Uh, Ollie, quickly! I have a horse just behind those trees! Schoolboy, I can escort you to your horse, but I can't leave Milltown behind. If you come with me, you will not leave this place behind, Ollie. You will be helping the people here, with the queen and the, the guard... Time we get the queen out of bed, and she gets her knights ready, Milltown will be ashes. We need someone here now. And you think you can be that someone? You think that any one person can face evil like that and, and win? I don't know, but What I... can any one man do against a force like that? A force strong enough to turn your neighbors against you? A force that makes us hurt others when we try to stop him? A force... Not a force. A man who wishes so much suffering so easily. Who can enact it with a word on his lips. What can anyone do against a man like that? I don't know. If they didn't cover that in your lessons, schoolboy, I definitely didn't get it either. But I know Milltown. This is my home, and you cannot just come riding in from your castle and expect to snap your fingers and fix everything. I know the people here better than you ever will, so you need to listen to me. And what I'm telling you right now is this. If I leave, Milltown burns and not a single person there will be prepared to defend themselves. It's ugly, but it's reality, and we have to recognize it. I see. Don't just stand there. Go! I am thinking. Porthos! Here, quickly, quickly! <laughs> what are you doing, schoolboy? Exactly what you've suggested, Ale. Recognizing the situation for what it is. Porthos, straight to the citadel with you, and no dawdling for dandelions or sweet grass. With all the love in my mighty heart, I send you safely home. Now go! What are you doing? Call it back! You'll never escape the kite on foot, you idiot! Nor would I escape him on Porthos, I think. The kite would not have let me go if he intended me to survive this night. The hunter releases the fox from its cage for sport, not mercy. What are you saying? Porthos will run faster without me. He should make it back to the citadel in half the time. You are right, Ale. You know Milltown, and so you must be the one to protect it. I will stay and hold the kite back to buy you time until his magic overtakes me. Overtakes you? Don't be cute. Say what you mean. Until the kite kills me, then. But I stand here for my citadel and my people. And though I may fear death, if it must come for either myself or my kin, I will tackle it headlong. I wish I had more time to know you, Ale. I am sorry for calling you a woman. Hurting another is the only truly unforgivable act. I wish I had the time to rectify it somehow. You'll hurt plenty more people if you just stand here and die. Oh, I think I shall do more than that, sir. I am Sir Angelo the Strong, the mightiest knight in all of the Second Citadel. I shall face him head on, and when he feels the force of my blade, he will quake in you. <gasps> Angelo! Oh, don't leave us high and dry, Sir Angelo the Strong. Quake in what? Answer the question, son. You... you... Too uh, slow. Uh, <coughs> Knight! Sir Angelo! It's too bad. I've heard his monster-killing numbers were good. By Mira's standards. <sighs> well... It's been fun, Knight. Hold your blade for just a moment, sir. Allow me the honor of standing to face you. Schoolboy, don't do it. Rest. Just let me borrow your sword no, and I can- No, Ollie! You have other work to do, remember? Uh, 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 uh. Stop whining. You haven't lost that much blood. Get on your feet and show me what the best of the new knights can do. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. So you have some honor in you after all. Uh, uh, That's it. Uh, Garuda. Angelo, behind you! Uh, and enough yet. Again. Ah! Garuda. Ah! Garuda. Not this time, fiend. Ah! Wh where are you? Listen closely, and maybe you'll figure it out on your own. Devil bird. Devil bird. That noise. Devil it's everywhere. Show yourself, kite. Show your. Ah! But how? I'd be a lot more impressed by that strength if you could actually hit me with it, Angelo. <laughs> Enough, cockatrice. <sighs> Not a scratch on me. Disappointing. 
You're brave, though. Very brave. So I'll show you some of that honor you wanted as a going away present. See this? Each of the gems in this amulet is a soul I've captured. A monster that I use as a tool to do what needs doing. Green is the cockatrice. Yellow, the thunderbird. Blue for the Garuda. Red for the devil bird. And then there's this one. The white gem. Strongest I've got. So powerful, I've never used it before. But I'll make an exception for you. Stop where you are. <laughs> I told you to stop. <laughs> I'll duel you with this branch if I have to. I'm warning you. No, I'm warning you, one arm. Once this gets started, I don't know if I'm going to be able to control it. That's it. Make your peace, Sir Angelo the Strong. This is the power of the- God, kid! Oh la la, no! I thought you were gone for a lot longer than usual, Sir Knight, so I perfected what you asked me and came as quickly as I could. I don't know what you are, kid, but I'm telling you to get out of here, now. But Sir Angelo, I mean, the vigilant he- I didn't ask. Go! I don't think so. <sighs> You. You're the one who took my sisters away. And you're the abomination. Even more disgusting than I thought. Oh, uh, please. There's too much to explain right now. You must escape. Get him out of my sight, one arm. Oh, uh, hurry. Oh, uh, I told you to get him out. I've been waiting too long not to enjoy this, and I don't want his crying to sour it. You'll... Let us go. Ollie! Only if you get moving now. <clears throat> Ollie, no! The younger one! Olala! We must go! <clears throat> Maybe now you'll actually rest, schoolboy. Olala. That's your name? It is, sir. Get out of here. Grow a couple dozen more feet if you have to, but run. There's no beating this guy. But this I. This is your last chance, one arm. Go. <clears throat> well, just me and you, kid. Stay back. Tell me what you did with my sisters. Tell me where you put them. Or else. I think you should be a little more worried about where I'm going to put you right now. Here it is. In, in that? Stop lying. I'm far larger than that little amulet. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> I said it's not funny. I uh, hate to disagree, kid, but here we are. But don't worry. Plenty of your kind in this Soul Keeper. M my sisters? Don't make me sick. I said your kind. And soon you're going to join them. Right where you belong. You're a monster. Worse than that, a mistake. And all these people who've helped you hide, your sisters and the queen and that big sucker in the dumb mask, if they told you anything else, they were lying to you. They wouldn't lie to me. Well, they wouldn't, huh? Then Mira and that night, they told you this was all about you. What? I would have stopped this and left weeks ago if you came to me then. Near 20 people are dead because it took you so long to get here. But I'm sure Queen Mira told you all that, didn't she? No, but you're lying. You're just trying to distract me. <laughs> Figures. Half man, half monster. Your brain must have come from the beasts if you're that dull. This is the last time I shall ask you, where are my sisters? That's it then, huh? Enough playtime? <laughs> I'm not as cruel as some of the other people you've met, kid. So, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I don't know where they are. Bodies are where you left them. But, uh, I don't think that's what you want. So it depends on what you believe, I guess. I think they're nowhere. 
But, uh, if you want a chance at seeing them again, I'd say I'm the best chance you got right now. So, come at me, kid. Me and my blade are about to write you a first-class ticket home. If you've enjoyed this tale, please consider donating to the Penumbra on Patreon. Our artists work tirelessly to bring you these stories, and if you have the means, we hope you will support our efforts. Every dollar helps. You can find that page at patreon.com slash the Penumbra Podcast. If you support us on Patreon at the $10 level or higher, you'll receive access to commentary tracks like this one from actors Angemily and M. Sutherland and co-creator Sophie Takagi Kaner. We all know that Disney would say, oh, well, you know, he just knew that she was a woman somehow. And, and They're that's best happened, friends. But, but that's, he did not. That's garbage. He didn't know. Um, and so, like, I wanted to take that and do it better and, like, let a character actually discover their bisexuality that way. And I thought it would be really fun to give that to Sir Angelo, yep. um, who, has, <laughs> who has been presumed straight by himself and everybody else this whole time. Um, and as we kind of lampshade in the episode, I think... Mm. Did you know that the Penumbra has merchandise for sale? It's true. The Penumbra has partnered with DFTBA to bring you the posters, shirts, pins, and socks your hearts desire. Just go to dftba.com and search for the Penumbra podcast. We would like to give thanks to all who support us on Patreon, but especially to Lucy Viles, Sir Angelo, Knight of the Crown, producer of Serotonin, Taza Tui, Haley Elise Wheeler, Let Arm Say F***, Michael David Smith, Dawn, Lilith Dyke, CJ, Ah, Curse Your Sudden But Inevitable Betrayal, Homoerotic Dueling Tool Himbo Boo Blue, Caroline Seidman, Freya, Jay Yanizelli, Karen ZH, Red L, Kim Dauber, NB Shaper, Minchowski, Jasper James, and Jamie Gunter for their incredibly generous contributions per episode. Thank you. This tale, The Strong Arm of Justice, was told by the following people. M. Sutherland as Sir Angelo, Marge Dunn as Olala, and Jim Lee as Ale, and Simon Moody as The Kite. The Penumbra is created and produced by Sophie Takagi Kaner and Kevin Vibrant. If you wish to know more about our ever-expanding, infinitely creative team of artists, musicians, editors, designers, and managers, you can read about them in the show notes of this episode. I'm afraid that is our time for today, dear travelers. We hope you will join us again soon.